Alright guys, reviews and more back with another tech review and like always, please if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. This will be a tech update on a new printer called the Canon Pixma MX492. So this is a uh, wireless all-in-one printer. It is a lower-end model. This one costs $40 with a four-year service plan. It was on sale, so I think they're going for about 50 bucks now. But um, it was a sale item, but the um, cool thing about it mostly is it's smaller. It's more uh, compared to the other Canon Pixma. If you ever dealt with them, I have, one, I have an MX922. The footprint's pretty pretty big on them. They're more detailed, heavier duty printer. But um, this is good for what we need it for. It's a uh, not meant for business. It's a slower output. I'm, I'm going to say it's cheaply made, but by virtue of the price, you kind of get that's kind of indicated. Uh, real fast, just what it looks like on the unboxing. It's got some little orange tabs on it, various safety items. More more there so you know if it's been used before. There's little orange tabs. If they're not there, it means the item's probably been used before. It's a refurb, or or at worst, it's a uh, returned item. So always be on the lookout for those when you're looking at looking at a new printer. Make sure they got the little orange tabs all over them. All the little various things that peel off should still be in place. Um, we purchased this one because our old Canon Pixma, which we bought about eight or nine years ago has been heavily heavily used and it's starting to kind of have a little hiccups and used to have that, were me that are mechanical and uh, once a mechanical issue happens with one of these printers after that kind of age you basically can't plan on them being around a whole lot longer so this is basically back up we wanted to pick up something that was not break the bank and kind of hold us over until we decide if we wanted to buy a big bulky toner style, style printer or if we want to keep, keep, keep going with the inkjet models so this is the uh, Canon Pixma MX492 and all you're going to see from this point on is putting in the printer, the ink, the uh, the printer uh, ink as as well as running a few test pages. So um, this is self-contained printer ink, so it's actually got the uh, all the printer the print heads actually attached to the the printer. Um, yeah, the ink reservoirs are attached here, and there's only two colors. There are blue, and then there are also there's all sorry not blue. There's cayenne, red, and yellow, as well as a black container. However, all the colors are in a self-contained reservoir, so you're only going to ever buy two. And based on my pricing online, even the refurbished ones that refill the ink, they're kind of fly by night. They're not always full. You're not paying much more for those, or rather, you're not paying much less for those than you would be for the full price. Uh, actual Canon printer inks are kind of on par with each other as far as price goes, at least to the point where you don't want to sit there and spend half as much for even less ink. So um, overall, printer's okay. Big flaw right here you're seeing is the fact that the paper, the cassette for the paper does not fold back in. It is out. Like there's no way to actually fold up the paper cassette to where the paper is like not exposed. So you're all if you have this thing loaded with paper, it's going to, the paper will be visible, which may or may not be a problem with you depending on what your, what your office is. But it kind of goes in line with the purpose of this printer, which is to be very small, small footprint, not a lot of space. So it really smushes everything back down in a very compact way, which means the paper has to go somewhere, which means the paper is underneath. Next slight issue is the fact that because the printer, again, it's all compacted into a small area, it means there's not a whole lot. You can't just like open up the whole printer and access it like some other printer models have used before. This one you gotta gotta get right down with eye level with it. See where it says color in black. It does that down there to show you, hey, this is where you gotta push things in. But you have to be able to see what's going on, which means usually getting down your hands and knees and actually seeing where this thing goes in. So the printer ink reservoirs, there's nothing really special about them. They're pretty standard for what printers are now. Uh, nowadays, most of the new Canon models, their the print heads are actually contained on the um, printer reservoir themselves. So you got black in color. I have not tested this printer to see if it will only print with the black ink, although I kind of doubt it, but it is possible. Um, once you get the printer ink in there, oh, and by the way, you cannot put the printer ink in there unless this thing is turned on. That's the first thing, first issue you got to deal with. Once you get the printer ink in and the reservoirs are tucked away and you got everything closed up, the uh, printer will go into an automatic cleaning cycle. It'll then start running you through the program of selecting your paper size. Um, all fairly simple and normal for setting up any given printer. Once you get to the wireless printer settings, you will have issues. I had them with hooking up. The issues I had was the fact that my code to enter into my um, my wireless network is alphanumeric. The problem is, it only gives you the option to put in passcodes. It does not give you, I could not, for whatever reason, figure out how to get through to the actual option to let me put my computer passcode in. 
So I had to resort to doing a push button method where you basically just turn the connect the put you basically go do push button method on the various prompts it gives you on the screen and then go push your router button and it's like a WPS connection and it takes care of it from there. You don't have to put a code in. But I have a very inconveniently located router because it's wireless, so it's up on top of some cabinetry, so I had to jump up on my counter to take care of it. It was just a nightmare. So that's one thing. You cannot just put an alphanumeric code. So if your printer is any real distance away from your router, you might have issues if you have to ever reset this thing or reconnect it because it'll be running all over the house trying to get it reconnected unless you just want to use a alpha, a, a basic alpha or letter-based letter passcode and adjust your router settings around your all that taken care of. But... Overall, that's a my minor gripe relative to the price of this thing, which is for me under 40 bucks. So here we have me printing from my phone, just seeing if this thing works. On the wireless, it works fine. The only issue I had was that cassette's a little fickle. It's got to be tucked as far in as it'll go, and that's about the speed it comes out. It's not a very fast printer. That's a little just a um, a workout regimen checklist. I want to see how fast it came out. Mostly pretty easy text. A little bit of a uh, shading in there, which slowed it down. It prints out text pretty quick, and in just a moment, you're going to see me actually running through some uh, various colors in copy to see how what kind of a loss of resolution you get based on the color copy. And the loss isn't terrible, but it is noticeable. So if you're using this printer for, let's say, maybe copying pictures, you might want to look somewhere else. It just doesn't quite capture the color. The resolution is not quite there. So you're going to see it scanning in just some swirls of uh, green a light green, a red, yellow, and a blue, and you're going to see it, the, the quality is not that great. It definitely, the sharpness is there, but the color transition just isn't that great. Um, the color, if you, if you looked on the print, the little printer thing I got from bodybuilding.com, that color transferred just fine. So it might be an issue of the scanner, not so much of the printer itself, and that the scanner does not pick up the quality of the color that well. But I will say, I was kind of disappointed in it because you would hope maybe you'll print off or make a copy of an old picture to send to somebody. Or make copies for yourself so if you're looking for like a picture quality copy scanner you're not going to get the print out of it really so mostly you might just want to focus on this being a printer for documents and basic like you know just backing up for hard files uh, if you want a dedicated printer for pictures you might just want to make the purchase for a dedicated printer that specializes in doing that but um it scans pretty quickly it uh there's obviously the wireless option for scanning that's available with the with the Canon uh, scanning utility that's pretty standard on all uh, Pixma models now. You can download it from Canon.com. But um overall, I'm satisfied with it. That being said, if this thing were 60 bucks, I don't think I'd be satisfied with it because I paid 40 bucks with a good service plan on it, and I'm not and I'm it does the job. It's pretty basic. It's an all-in-one printer. It does it wireless, so it has those bells and whistles to it. But as far as paying much more than what I paid, I don't think I would. Um, the cassette, another big flaw I have is that cassette itself. It's a little fickle. It only holds 20 sheets at a time. So if you ever have a need to print more than 20 sheets, you better be ready to reload that thing. Um, I don't know how well it does envelopes, although it seems like it would do just fine. It, that, it doesn't look like the rollers or anything else are having an issue. But um, it's a good purchase for the price I paid for it much more expensive and it starts losing its value almost exponentially. I think it'll be great for printing out documents, basic teaching lesson plans, basic images of what you want to convey to somebody, um, letterhead, that kind of stuff. But as far as real color, you're about to see here a side by side comparison. They'll say copy on one. That's obviously the photocopied portion. But um, you lose some you lose some pretty substantial color resolution, some color quality as you go through there. So you notice like the the copy almost looks kind of green compared to the actual yellow that came in. The red changes to a kind of an orange. So it's like the one on the left, the one on the left is actually the copy. The the original had a tinge of orange to it, and it just doesn't show up. So that's the biggest thing, guys. If you're looking for a cheap printer to print documents, this is the perfect thing for you. If you're not looking for something, you want some more high end, you're gonna have to pay for it because this just won't do it for you. But for me, I just need the documents, and that's all I wanted from it. And thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful, and have a great day.